Class Cards is an iPhone app designed to help teachers boost engagement during lessons and discussions. And in this first video, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of how the app works. The app comes preloaded with a sample class to get you started. You can make your own classes later on. You can delete this one whenever you want to, but we'll take a quick look at how it works. I'm going to tap on the class and hit the random button. And what we see here in this screen, the name of the class you're using, just as confirmation you've grabbed the right one, the student to be called upon right now, and then below that, the next four students coming up so that you're not surprised by who's coming up. For scoring, you have two options. The plus minus is for true, false, yes, no, fill in the blank, very objective type questions. There's only one correct answer. You're either right or you're wrong. At the same time, some of the questions we ask are more open-ended, such as evaluation and, and things like that. So I want letter grades, A, B, C, D. So I call upon Jack, and based upon his response, I'm going to give him a grade. Now, as soon as he's been given a grade, his name will appear above the letter grades. And if for some reason you had given him the wrong grade, it's easy to undo. And I call upon Shane, and you can see Shane received a B. And I just keep calling upon students as the names appear. If I want to call upon students without giving them a grade, I just tap the pass button. And a pass will be recorded. For a student who gives you no response at all, you can tap the NR button for no response. Pluses appear as a COR, which means the student was correct, and a minus is displayed as incorrect. For any student who'd like more time to respond, just tap the name. Brittany's name is now going to be moved to this hold queue, this little gray box, which will give her time to think and process. So I'm able to go to the very next student, which is Kier. And after I've called upon a couple of students, passing out grades each time, I can then get back to Brittany tap her name, she comes back to the top box so I can give her a grade. Speaking of grades, I can check them anytime I want to. Tap on your class, tap the scores button, and here are their scores. The first column is their participation grade displayed as a percentage, and the second column is how many times they've been called upon to respond. And with a tap of a button at the bottom of the screen here, I can actually sort these students from high to low. If I want to talk to one student in particular about how they're doing, I can just tap on the name. And a privacy screen appears, which gives them the entire breakdown of how they're doing. And you'll see the student percentage, you'll see the class average, and you'll see the student's rank in the class. If I want to record the fact that we talked, I can just tap the record button and a date appears. Otherwise, OK, clears it, gets me back to the score view, and it tap on back. We're back to the main screen here. There's also a select button at the bottom that enables me to choose who I call upon. So I'll select the class I'm working with, tap select, and here we'll see a list of names of students in the class. And I can scroll up and down these names, decide who to call upon, and then a score box appears. Give Karina a score. Your grade has been adjusted. I can call upon other students or I can tap back. I can also use select during random mode. So I select the class. I'm calling upon students randomly and I'm giving out, let's say, pluses and minuses. We're doing vocabulary review. But right now I'd like to call upon some students who want to volunteer. If I hit the select button, again, we're back to this class roster enables me to find students who have not been called upon much, call upon Michael, take his response, give him a score, call upon Waleed, take his response, give him a score, tap random, I'm back to the random screen, tap back, I'm back to the main screen. 